Hey! All right, everybody. So this is episode three of the uh, e-bike MSVA build. And you can see in front of me here is lots of brake parts. So we're going to discuss what kind of brakes I'm going for on the e-bike. And in the last episode, you know, you saw me, my epic marathon of putting the back tire on, on the wheel. Well, use the front wheel, right? Just to show that I've done the front tire as well. And um, you can see that I've put on uh, snail discs, 203 millimeters on both sides. So anyway, let's crack on with the episode. Hoi! Right, okay, front brakes. So, brakes for the MSVA in the UK, they've got to have the rounded lever on the end. That's part of the MSVA. Also, it does say that um, you need the glass visual aid so you can see the level is not too low on the oil. Also, I'm gonna be needing a switch as well. So I did, I did toy with the idea of maybe trying to adapt normal motorcycle moped levers, but I came to the conclusion that I didn't want to do it. So that idea was scrapped. So I looked online at a few different options and I came across the Suron Light BX and they have the right type of, let me just get it on about, uh, this is, this is the one off the Suron Light BX and you can see it's got the rounded lever on the end and it's also got the little glass to see the level of the oil. So, my next plan was, because um, I've got two calipers on the front, uh, I couldn't use the Suron uh, caliper, so I had to think of a different idea. So, before I ordered this, I studied the, looked at the pictures and everything, and I thought, it's, it's from China, and these are the Chinese brakes, they might be similar. So, I did have one of these, laying about an XOD and the XOD brake comes with this little bag with an olive. Let me get the olive out. Let me get that out. Comes with an olive. Pop that in here. I saw a chuck of that in here. The olive will fit in here like that. And that does screw into there. Right, okay. Oh, let me see, that. see that does screw into there. So these brakes are compatible with this lever here. <laughs> right, it's not compatible at all. <laughs> it's just my luck, isn't it? But I said it's compatible. I didn't even look inside the barrel. When you look inside, it's, it's completely different. The olive doesn't fit. The other brakes got different fittings. They've all got different fittings. Of course they have. <laughs> but here's the problem. A different fitting shouldn't you know it shouldn't matter but the problem i got now is i can't find out what kind of fitting goes in the suron brake the type of olive and the type of compression thing you turn in so if anybody watches this and knows let me know in the comments but i've looked everywhere on the internet and i can't find it anywhere uh, I, I've emailed a couple of Suron dealers in the UK. The first one I emailed, he got back to me pretty quick, but he said, chuck them brakes in the bin and buy some Maguro ones. And I, <laughs> that's not up to me at all, is it? <laughs> so, uh, I got a brake saga now. Anyway, let's carry on and look at the uh, twin calipers I've got for the front of the braking system if they're ever gonna work with the callops I go, will I have to buy new ones? Who knows? <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. So here's the front double brake caliper, and obviously I won't be using the lever. It has a single brake pipe leading to a block that splits into two, which goes to each caliper. There's not much choice for twin calipers for bikes, and it could become pretty pricey. So with these being on the cheaper side, then I'm not sure how good these are going to work, but they look well made and I will give them a try. Price for these 
was £51. So before I bought the uh, Suron brakes, I was looking at these, uh, what they, call, they, they call them Tetro Dorado, but they they got a number somewhere. There we are. HD E710. I was looking for these. I couldn't find them anywhere. I looked for a couple of days. I thought they'll do me, but uh, I couldn't find them. So in the end, I went and bought the Suron brakes. Wish I hadn't. But anyway, um, somebody in the comment section, um, oh, I, can't remember his, I can't remember his name, I'll give him a shout out now. Everything e-bike channel, I think it's called. Yeah, everything e-bike channel. Go and, go and take a look because he, he does some good stuff on his bike he's building. Uh, he gave me the email address for your look. And there's a pair, pair of these for 135 euros. I think there's 24 euros delivery as well. So again, it's a bit pricey, but I know that I can get olives and compression rings and all this sort of stuff for these brakes because they're ready available. With the Suron ones, I haven't got a clue. I just don't know which one to buy. So, and it says they look delivery time two weeks. So do I buy these or do I stick with the Suron ones? Ah, I'm tempted to buy these now. <laughs> You'll have to wait and see anyway. So it's best to use a torque wrench on bikes because it's so easy to strip out the threads by over tightening on aluminium parts. So SRAM states that its rotor should be tightened to 6.2 Nm or 55 inch pounds while Shimano reckons 4 Nm or 35 inch pounds. So I went in the middle, set the torque wrench at 45 inch pounds and tightened all three discs. Right, in my first video, I talked about using these motorcycle switches and I said, cool, they're good quality, but me being me, I can't help taking things apart. <laughs> so I decided, to, as you can see, I've taken it apart. First of all, I decided I'm not gonna use that connector. So chuck down the stingies, Hoi. gone, right? That's gone, that's gone right over there. Uh, Cut off, first of all, I, t I took the time of unpinning it all, <laughs> but then I decided I'm going to cut them off as well, so they, they were gone as well. So they're out the window, that was holding them in, so that's all gone. Cut them over there. Now, I was taking it apart because the reason being, I'll stick a picture in of the wiring diagram that's on AliExpress, the Chinese uh, uh, website, and I'll show the wiring diagram but it says the colours, but it doesn't say which goes where and what, right? So I wanted to peek inside and see what was going on, especially with the, this, because the wiring for this was a bit weird. Oh, it's going to have to focus there. The wiring for this was a bit weird because this is going to work differently to how I want it to work, to how it works on a motorbike. Because on a motorbike, I think it's to do with... Pull, um, certain things for starting, like if you put, you've got to pull the clutch in, if the if the bike is in gear, you've got to pull the clutch in to start it. Something like that anyway. Anyway, so they weighed up a bit weirdly. So I took it all apart. I know I'm waffling on a bit here. But so I decided to have a look at the wiring. And I started pulling this out of sheath down like this. La, 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 la. <laughs> and I came across this bit of tape. Not put on very well at all. I'll take it all the way off anyway. Take that off. Right, let's just take that off. Right, and when I looked at it, I don't know if you can see. Look at that. Can you see that there? That's bare wire. Right, so I, I haven't looked in here yet. I thought I'll keep this for the video. Some people might like this. So let's let's undo this tape here and see what's and see what's hiding underneath. Let's have a look. If it'll come off. 
Come on, you blighter. Oh, there is an actual connector in there, look. So, I thought I was going to open it up and see bad wires in there for a minute. <laughs> you know, just twist it around. So there's a connector in there, but a bit of heat shrink would have, wouldn't have gone on this, wouldn't it? Instead of a skunky bit of tape like that. Anyway, let's have a look at the other one. Let's see if I can get that one off there. So they have they actually put a clip in here, so... Anyway, I'll take it off in a minute. So, the problem I got is this... This thing here... has got a red wire, red and white. But also, the light control has got a red and white. See, they joined together, look. Right? So, for my purposes, it's not going to work. The same as the brown wire, which goes to this thing. This was it? That's a start button, isn't it? Well, I wasn't even going to use that. But that, that brown wire go, goes to the start button, but it also goes to the kill switch. So, I think you've got to... In a motorbike, you've got to put the kill switch to on, like that, and then it goes through to the start button. So I'm going to have to change the wiring a little bit in here. Like, for instance, this red wire is no good. That's going to go in the, That's going to get tracked in this thingy as well. <laughs> and then this is the switch. I took the switch apart to see how that was wired. And that is just... I don't know if you can see this work, work it out. Uh, that goes in there like that. And it, all it is is there's three pins on there, like two that last side, one last side. When it's over there, it's not touching anything. Because that one's in the middle of there. It scrapes across and touches that. Then it goes across to the other side. It's touching them two and that one. Because I couldn't work out which was the power in and the power's out. Because when you connect it, oh, never mind, I just couldn't work it out. <laughs> I'm waffling now. Anyway, I'm going to change the wiring on that. I'm still going to use it, but I'm going to change the wiring. I like a bit of wiring, so I don't mind. Anyway, that's my waffle on that bit. I don't know if there's anything else left in this video. It might just be me saying that's the end of the video. Who knows? Wait and see. So not quite the end yet. I thought I would show you the indicator diagram that I have made up, but it's not finished yet. I haven't added the... I keep saying added instead of added. I'm going too posh. <laughs> I haven't added the hazard switch and a few tweaks. If anyone sees anything wrong in this diagram, then drop a message below. Hey, so that is it for this one. Um, Vector have just sent me an email about the frame. And they've sent me an invoice, so I've just sent them a big bag of money. Oh, big bag of money. I don't like the sound of that. And um, uh, what else? Don't forget to like the video, you know, or dislike. And also don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching this one. I think in the next one, I might go into depth of the electrical side of things. If you like that sort of thing, you might not. I don't know. But anyway, cheers. Hoi!